welcome back in this video we are going to study one more concept of frame of motion which is how you can basically uh, have enter animation as well as exit animation in your component right so in the previous video if you remember we uh, studied one of the property of frame of motion which was uh, transition and another one was animate right so in this video we will see how you can basically have uh, different type of state animations like when let's say your component is entering in the DOM element you want to have a different animation and when the element is exiting uh, by exiting you mean to say like if the element is removed from the DOM element if you want to have different animation in it so how would you have it so we will uh, study that or we will implement that right so here you can see one example so basically we have this initial property and inside initial property you can define your enter animation by enter animation I mean to say like when your component is rendered in the DOM element how would you want to animate that particular component right so inside this you can basically have that particular uh, animation property right so in this example they have written uh, written this false so by false what they are trying to say that they do uh, that they don't want any enter animation for that particular component so basically they just want to have this animation but they don't want to have any enter animation so let's see this example so in this example you can see the initial animation so inside this they have written that they want this opacity to be zero for this particular component and after it is done uh, they want this particular opacity so let me refresh it and you will notice what exactly is happening mm, yeah so as you can see initially this will be having opacity zero you can experiment it like let's say i remove this so what will happen uh, let me just click refresh uh, sorry yeah you will see uh, nothing is happening right so when you write initial what we can do is we can basically write a you can say starting point like what should be your starting animation for this particular component so basically we want it to be invisible so we can write opacity zero now you will be able to see this animation right as you can see it's becoming invisible for like a small second of interval right so basically initial is used for having a first state of animation for your component or you can say enter animation in simple language right and then we have exit animation so to use exit animation we have to use this animate presence component because what exactly happens is like uh, when a component is removed from a tree as you can see it's removed instantly so basically by having this animate presence component we will be able to know okay that this component was removed and we want to have some particular animation in that right uh, because in react what happens is like whenever any element is removed uh, from the DOM element it's directly removed it's instantly removed so you won't be able to see any animation if you don't use this component so that's why we have to use this component and then you will be able to use this exit property and you will be able to see the animation right so yeah these were the some basic concepts for enter and exit animation let's uh, do one simple example in our react project so I hope you already have a react project set up in the previous video uh, I you know already created one component in the react project so if you don't have you can create a new react project by using create react app cli command or you know white command and also have tailwind CSS installed as well along with framer motion right so uh, let me show you the app.jsx so basically it has this uh, progress bar component which we created in the previous video and yeah so basically we created this uh, you know small component where we are showing the progress bar using frame of motion right in the previous video we created it now let's create something else today where we will show you uh, where I'll show you like how to use enter and exit animation uh, let me just comment it and today I'll create one more component uh, let's give it name exit and enter animation I don't know Maybe we can give it any name I guess so inside components directory or like for now I'm having frame of components directory and let's create a new file inside it I'll give it name same exit and enter animation dot jsx uh, let me write rfce and it'll give you a template of react project let me save it and let me import it here in app.jsx so yeah so as you can see it's coming now let's create uh, one div 
and that div will be basically a circle or let me first give it background white and height 32 width 32 and we want it to be full rounded let me check so yeah it's coming and i also want it to be like in center and have a some margin yeah now what i'll do is um, let's create one more uh, division inside it and that will have again same classes and it will be of let's say background red and it will be having little uh, small height and width mm, yeah it's basically looking like a moon currently so let's do one thing what we will do is uh, we will use framer motion for this inside division so we can write directly uh, motion dot dev okay it's automatically auto populating it so let me first import the motion library uh, motion component from framer motion if you don't have it installed install it first and then use it so you can use it as a prefix with the div in which we want animation right so yeah now you will be able to use animation properties so as you know for uh enter animation what we use we use initial right so initially we want it to be having like we don't want it so we will just write opacity zero right so initially it uh, won't be there as you can see uh, we don't see it right but uh, after some time we want uh, it to be visible so we can use animate property and we can write opacity to one now you will be able to see this animation like if you refresh you see we have a small animation where it uh, goes from invisibility to visibility right so that's what exactly is happening because of this uh, these two properties now if you remove this initial what will happen you won't be able to see the animation yeah because you have directly written this uh, animate basically in simple language you can understand it like it doesn't have any enter animation like you don't see it entering right so that's where initial property comes in where you can write the enter animation property so that you'll be able to see a little slight animation of that exactly happening right now uh, we can do one thing along with opacity uh, what I want to do is I want uh, to change its position as well let's say I want it to be maybe uh, 20 and then after it is animated I want it to be like y40 let's see how it's looking so yeah it's creating a very beautiful animation as you can see uh, let's just write it zero I guess then it'll look much more nicer yeah also we want it a little bit slow so what you can uh, do is you can use transition uh, property and then you can write uh, I guess duration and we want it to be happen like maybe in 10 seconds so it will happen very slow now yeah as you can see now it's happening very slow and yeah it's looking very nice you can also uh, increase its speed maybe because it's not looking that great so yeah now it's looking very nice so in this way you can create a very beautiful animation now let me create one exit animation as well so how we will actually uh, implement exit animation in it so basically what we will do is we will basically remove this inner circle uh, maybe let's say after uh, interval maybe after 15 20 seconds we want to remove it so let's do one thing what we can do is we can create one state and that name will be remove inner circle right mm, set uh, remove inner circle use state so initially it will be false uh, let me explain again what i'm exactly trying to do is so basically uh, what i want to do is uh, let me first uh, import it it's not imported yet yeah so what I'm exactly trying to do is basically I want after 15 or 20 seconds that this inner circle should get removed and you should be able to see some kind of animation when it is removed 
okay so basically we will keep some state and what we will do is we will use use effect and we will create one timer uh, set timeout and what we want to do is we want to set this uh, remove inner circle state to true after 15 or 10 seconds let's say right so you can write 10,000 milliseconds so basically what is exactly happening is after 10 seconds this uh, remove inner circle state will become true right and let's use this condition here so what we will do is we will write condition here like if uh, remove inner circle is false then only we will show this division right so let me see here so yeah for 10 seconds you will be able to see this after 10 seconds as you have noticed that in the code i've written key it should become uh, true so as you can see inner circle has been removed after 10 seconds right but you didn't see any animation in that when that particular uh, inner circle was removed right after 10 seconds so let's again wait and after 10 seconds you will notice that this inner circle is getting removed from the dom but you don't see any 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 animation right so that's where exit animation comes in so we will write exit and what we will write here is that we want opacity to be uh, let's say zero and y position should become maybe thousand right so yeah i think this should work but again you won't be able to see it like even though you have written exit uh, property in your uh, division but still you won't be able to see it after 10 seconds uh, let's just wait again and yeah it's again happening very fast and you are not able to see the exit animation so in the documentation you notice that we have to use this animate presence then only you will be able to see because uh, there's no way uh, that framer motion uh, library will be able to know that okay this uh, element was removed so that's why you have to use this animate presence so that it will be able to know okay that this element was removed and i have to apply animation to it right so what you can do is uh, you can import this component animate presence and you have to uh, use it after yeah here so you can write animate presence and you can uh, move this all inside it uh, sorry yeah let's save it and now you will be able to see the animation let's see whether you are able to see or not so for after 10 seconds this inner circle will be re uh, will be removed and you will be able to see the exit animation so let's see yeah now you are able to see the exit animation so i hope you understood uh, what exactly happened right now so earlier we were not able to see the exit animation because we didn't have this animate presence wrapper so after using this animate presence wrapper what exactly is happening that framer motion library is able to know okay that this particular element was removed after 10 seconds and it automatically applies animation to it okay so yeah that's why we used animate presence and in this way you can use exit animation in any component right so i hope you uh, learned how to implement enter and exit animation in a particular component and yeah it was uh, really fun experience for me as well to build this you know little animation using enter and exit animations so yeah this was all for this video and i hope you uh, love this video so yeah do share this video do subscribe yeah thanks and see you in the next video with the upcoming components that i'm gonna teach in the yeah next videos